Hello, this is Ken Helvey. I'm a partner with Into Learning and a facilitator with the Principals Institute. And I want to introduce you to an application we'll be using in, in the Institute called Perusal. Perusal is very similar to a discussion board, but I think you're going to see some differences in it that make it what I feel and what I've experienced with higher education students makes it much more engaging and students interact with it a lot more than they would in a typical open-ended discussion board. The product was designed by Eric Mazur, and if you go to getting, and by the way, to get to the website, it's perusal with two L's dot com. And if you go to getting started, you'll see a lot of information about and features about the program. It has a live demo. I want to draw some attention to Eric Mazur. Eric Mazur is a Harvard professor that I guess would be giving credit for uh, facilitating the creation of this tool, but. More importantly, Eric has been a real pioneer at the higher ed level, or particularly Harvard, with uh, designing instruction that is more engaging for students. He was the he used a lot of flip, has used and continues to use a lot of flipped learning, and and that's kind of groundbreaking when you think of a situation like Harvard, which you, you can imagine is very traditional. And not only that, uh, the students you know are going to be your best and brightest and the ones that are probably the most compliant you can imagine and he's uh, uh, done a lot of think of a lot of great work in transforming that kind of environment and culture uh, with the use of the different strategies he's trying there's a place where you can look at a live demo uh, here's where you can get started with it uh, the first thing I want you, you're going to want to do is register, and I've gone ahead and gone to another page and just to, to speed things up. I want to talk about your registration. You can sign in through Facebook, through Google, or Twitter, but I want to give you an important instruction here. When you begin your registration process down here, it's going to ask you for student or instructor. Now, I'm going to ask you to have two registrations in mind, an email that would allow you to register as a student, and an email that would allow you at a later time to register as an instructor because you may want to use this with your staff uh, and it's free to use by the way by anyone that wants to uh, they have a list of colleges and k-12 schools that is extensive but it doesn't matter whether your school is even on the list I think I think you can request access and you're going to get it but for the purposes of this, and I want you to register as a student, so use an email address that you can remember and a password to register as a student. And then again, you may want to register as an instructor with a different email later. So I'm ready to sign in, and I will sign in. And you'll notice that I've already uh, gotten to a place here that has what in the system would call a course but in your case it's really not a course you're a cohort and you're part of this now now you'll be given an access code in the email in an email or communication that you'll receive or it'll be on our website or something like that in the PI website uh, that will allow you to access it I've already accessed it once so it automatically goes there so if I click on that you're going to see a two areas over here. These are documents that have been uploaded and these are assignments and these are actually going to be assignments for that for the cohort that's coming up. These are two articles from Rob Evans and in this instance Rob Evans is going to be our speaker next. It could be somebody else if we did it for a future institute or we could do it before now in November. But any of our experts it would work with. So we've gotten permission to use uh, the articles from Rob and here's how it works you're going to read each of these articles but you're gonna do more than read them. read them and then you're gonna interact with them as far as starting some discussion so I'm gonna show you how to do that so when you click on that you'll see the whole article come up and as you're reading through the article uh, the way to use this tool is we want you to highlight things that are interesting to you maybe cause you to think about something a little differently maybe you disagree with some of it maybe you want to learn more about that or quite possibly in another institute or another time we may have different parameters on the article we may ask you to identify certain things and think about that you could do this with your teachers what if you had for example you put your handbook in here and said okay go through this handbook and let's highlight things that we think need to be deleted or 
uh, added to or further knowledge or we need to add to them. So here's an example of something I might do. If I highlight, for example, an area, you're going to notice a dialog box is going to come up immediately. It's a discuss. It really starts a discussion thread, and I've already written something just for uh, to make this quicker, so I can copy it right in there. And you pipe in a response to something like that in that manner. You agree with, it, disagree. Again, your thoughts on that particular highlight. Make sure you hit enter. Now that's in there, and now other members of the group will be able to respond to that with their own comments. Now, here's the way it's going to work, for example, in the Principals Institute. All of the registrations will be subdivided into groups of 20 automatically by the application. So you'll be interacting with about 20 other people, and you won't necessarily know that it will be a random assignment. Now, you'll know who they are because their initials will be there. Uh, there's an opportunity in the profile part to put pictures in. So especially if you sign up with Facebook, uh, it will automatically pull your Facebook picture in there. But I think there's a way in the system when you set up your profile to put uh, specifics in there so people would know who you are. And, and really, that's the way it works. So we're going to be assigning these articles out there for ask you to read, and you make your highlights. And remember, everybody's doing this, so this discussion over here will get very rich. Now, I will remind you, this tool is designed for uh, really higher ed and K-12 work. So there, there, you'll see different points of it that point to like grading. Uh, for the Principals Institute, uh, I, imagine, I would imagine you understand we're not going to be grading anything. Uh, so it's just a matter of, I think, a much more robust way for you to interact with one another around some content. And, and really, that's the whole way to use it right there. Now, if you're an instructor, the instructor level will allow you to upload uh, these articles or any type of information you would like to, like to do. I and then uh, you could ask a, a team of people, your entire staff, uh, whoever you want to interact in this manner. Uh, information about specifics on the assignments will come in an email or on our web, on our PI uh, private website part. So anyway, uh, hopefully this will help you uh, as you uh, register for this and use it. And feel free to please contact any of our Into Learning facilitators if you have any questions. I'll make sure I have my contact information there if you run into any issues. And I wish you best of uh, times in your discussions here, and we'll see you soon.